what is up you guys it's my favorite tarot reader and i am back with the next read okay honey period period that i am taking personal readings you guys who catch at me at money side caprice cooks you can also email me or apple pay me at caprice cooks at icloud.com or y'all all right i work on energy energy is fluid so this could be about you this could be about the person that you're thinking about or anybody's thinking about you also, time is an illusion, so this could be about the past, the present, or the future, but somehow it's affecting you right now, okay? Um, it is 2.20 p.m., thank you, Ascended Masters, and it is 7.50 equal 3, thank you, Ascended Masters, okay? Let's yeah, let's go ahead and bless this reading, y'all. I just want to shout out the fact that I have launched my self-care line is going to feature hair products um jewelry is going to feature skincare products bath products all that kind of stuff so i will be launching my website soon right now i'm just selling it on instagram but y'all check out this jewelry check out the jewelry is it not beautiful as fuck y'all yes i am selling these I am making them all handcrafted jewelry. There will only be one of a kind for every kind of jewelry. But yeah, y'all, let's go ahead and get started on this reading, okay? All right, Spirit Guides, Ascended Master, Soul Family, Twin Flame Family, please be here with me at this time, helping me receive a message to deliver to my Cancers for March 7th through the 14th. Spirit Guides to send a master. So, family, complain, family, please be here with me at this time, helping me receive a message to deliver to my cancers for March 7th through the 14th. A lot of emotions. I feel like a lot of regression, maybe like going back to old habits, old ways, purging a lot. I'm hearing like happy tears. Ring for a kiss. You kissing on somebody. You kissing on somebody. Traveling. I just met your roommate. Like somebody's boyfriend could be moving in with somebody else. Um, I feel like somebody could be getting out of a relationship, getting back on that relationship. It's kind of like you single, you feeling good. It's springtime. You're getting yourself dressed every day. You're doing your makeup every day. You're feeling good about yourself. You're just in your bag. You're just feeling happy. I feel like you're feeling like that bitch. You're feeling like, you know, a lot of people just don't compare to you. You feel like a boss. Somebody is a mogul. Somebody has multiple businesses, multiple business ventures. Somebody is realizing their destiny, what they're passionate about. Um, like I said, there could be travel, but this could also just be seeking the truth, seeking transformation, seeking change. You know, I feel like this is you just seeking what's for you. You know, what kind of things do you like? What kind of things don't you like? What kind of people do you like? What kind of people do you want to associate yourself with? Do you want to change, you know, your group? I feel like somebody is going up to a, like an empowering seminar. I just heard a fat girl seminar, like how to love. I feel like somebody is learning how to love, you know, so that they can usher in new opportunities. I feel like somebody is just loving on themselves, caring about themselves, treating themselves kindly. Um... I'm hearing herbal treatments, mint leaves, plants. Somebody is buying a house plant. I heard cacti. Somebody's getting a new welcome mat. Somebody is redoing their home. Somebody is also worried about pentacles. Somebody is making a lot of money this month or this week. Somebody is getting a lot of business. A lot of wish fulfillment with the nine of cups. Yeah, a lot of um, bullshit with the... Why did I say bullshit? Um, that's the title of the song that was just playing. I guess that's why I said it. Uh, but yeah, y'all. Let's see what's going on for my cancer. So you guys, listen to Masters of Family, so family, family. Please be here with me at this time, helping me receive a message to deliver to my cancers for March 7th through the 14th. The full... I feel like somebody's going on a new journey, embarking on a new journey with the full card here after being in her memo. Could be dealing with the Virgo. Pole dancer. Somebody could be a stripper. I feel like somebody is working out, like trying to get their body right, um, trying to look good. I feel like somebody is like transforming themselves, how they feel about themselves. Finally bringing in their own justice. It's kind of like you tired, of, you tired of just waiting for shit to happen. You trying to make some shit shake. I feel like it's a sense of like needing to jump off a cliff. It's kind of like a big decision is needing to be made. 
I feel like a lot of people in your hometown is like hating on you. A lot of people stop supporting you now that you're getting famous, now that you know you have more income. I feel like people feel like you switching up for some reason um, with the eight of cups at the bottom of the deck right after we saw the nine. I feel like this could be trying to go, um, trying to change old behaviors that maybe you kept going back to. I feel like bitch, we ain't equal. It's like I'm tired of fucking on the same niggas as you bitches. Kind of like I'm tired of fucking with little boys. I'm tired of fucking with motherfuckers who not up to boss status, who not up to my par, who don't meet the standards. <laughs> I feel like this is you no longer letting people know where you be at. Changing your number, changing your environment, changing your friends, bitch. I feel like you just a whole new bitch. <clears throat> I'm also hearing Mitch Mac. Mitch Mac socks, Mitch Mac earrings, bitch. Like, I feel like it's kind of like Mitch Mac. Like, maybe you've been kicking with people who don't really align with you. I feel like now you meeting the King of Pentacles. Or this is you showing up as the King of Pentacles in your masculine energy. It's kind of like you tired of being a fool. You tired of being naive. You tired of being in this um, Queen of Cups, Cancer Scorpio, Pisces energy. It's kind of like you tired of being emotional. You ready to get in your bag. You ready to worry about these coins. I feel like you manifesting coins. And they got two triangles on here. I feel like you have learned how to balance mind, body, and spirit. It's kind of just like you ready for abundance. You ready to make some shit shake. You ready to give birth, sis. Give birth to your dreams after lying to yourself about you not being ready. You know, I feel like certain communication is coming in from God. You getting ideas. Like, shit is just clicking. You know, I feel like your business is just overall taking off. I feel like you're giving birth to some kind of new idea that will be successful with the Six of Wands as well. Definitely could be dealing with the Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. I feel like it's a reunion. I feel like it's the trifecta. You know, with the three of cups, that's usually in the form of, like, a triangle. Um, and to me, that's just symbolizing, like, like I said, mind, body, spirit. It's a triangle right here as well. And it's upside down. Triangle. I feel like somebody is working on, like, sacred geometry. Somebody is just getting more in tune with their spirituality, like, going to the next step I'm hearing. Feeling like they that bitch. Like, this is seeing your um, Akashic Records, like, tapping back into your past life, being like, bitch, I deserve this lifetime that I'm living. I deserve all this money I got. I deserve all these clients. I deserve this abundance. I deserve this peacefulness, this happiness. Like, I feel like it's kind of just like you've been wearing the same clothes since high school. You've been on the same shit with the same friends, with the same people. 33 think you're in the masters, dating the same kind of niggas, dating the same, I mean, having the same kind of jobs. And I feel like somebody feel like a savage. Somebody feel like they didn't tap into that spirituality. They didn't gain that spiritual ranking. They didn't leveled up the playing field. It's kind of like, bitch, you got to come correct. But you ain't acting stupid no more. You're not dumbing yourself down for people no more. I feel like you was just around people who just wasn't where you was at. You talking to them, you had to dumb yourself down. Not talk about your spiritual side. Not talk about deep shit. Like, not talk about real meaningful or valuable conversations. And you over it. It's kind of like you keeping your sex life private. You keeping your love life private. You keeping your pussy private. You keeping that shit to yourself. I feel like you doing you, sis. You no longer fucking with little kids. Like, motherfuckers who mind just ain't there. It's kind of like, bitch, I'm not. Look. I feel like you still that bitch. Through everything that you have went through, it's like you learning to be the peacekeeper. Like, you learning not to argue with bitches. Not to fight bitches. Not to just be in the street. Not to be out here fucking niggas. Not to be dealing with niggas who are low vibrational. Just, I feel like you a savage. Like, you learning how to just, like... See your prey and know how to go fucking get that shit. I feel like you're using your instincts like a motherfucker. Everything that God is telling you, all those intuitive hits, you putting them motherfuckers to work. God, you gave me an idea for this. Okay, I'm finna do that. You told me I should look up this. Okay, I'm finna do that. I feel like you're doing everything you're supposed to be doing. I feel like all of your steps are divinely led. Like, if you have been confused or worried or feeling like you haven't been balanced, I feel like that's because you are in a transitional period. It's kind of like you've never been where you are, so you don't understand that. This is a good space. This is a happy space. Like, this is a calm space. It may not feel like it because it's chaos going on, but I feel like it's just because you transition and shit is changing. So, it may seem like it's rapid. It may seem like everything is happening quickly and you don't really have time to grasp what's going on. But I feel like it's just a, it's just a matter of kind of like God doing it for you. It's kind of like you already 33 think you're in the master. You already been working hard. Like, you've already been doing the work. You've already been putting in the work all your life. You know, however old you are, that's how many years you've been putting in work. So, even though it seems like it's coming in quick, I feel like you've been preparing for this. 
ain't nobody been solving your problems but you and God. Now it's kind of, it's time to like resolve those problems and show you like, okay, why did you go through this? Why did you go through that? It's kind of like you're not the same person that you was, honey. Like you have transformed. You have transitioned. Like you're a new bitch. Hello. God is just like, you have been served. I feel like somebody is getting served court papers or this is somebody being served their justice. Like, I'm hearing like just desserts. Like, so this is something that you have been owed. I feel like y'all dating niggas with some good ass conversation. Just y'all dating boss ass niggas. Niggas like King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns. Niggas who own some good ass shit, some earthly ass good shit meaning like they're business savvy they know what they doing they are businessmen who know how to get a bag like they know how to be supporters they know how to be caretakers like i feel like this is like the all-around man like even if these men ain't for you i feel like you meeting all divine masculines you meeting all niggas who at where you at and it's kind of like you acting like a little girl like you acting like a teenager like you dating you kicking it you having fun it's kind of i'm hearing like a kid in a candy store somebody kid could be eating too much candy too much snacks <clears throat> Somebody is needing to like brush their kids' teeth more. Spending more time with your kid, nurturing your kid. Like, this is you feeling so good that it's kind of like everybody around you is like getting some of that energy. Like, everybody is just noticing, like, oh my God, she's so peaceful. She's so happy. Like, everybody is seeing the fruits of your labor come into fruition. Like, it's kind of like the people around you are seeing you as the empress. It's kind of like people are finally seeing you how you see you because you're not allowing nothing else. It's kind of like you so authentic that it's like, can't nobody fabricate no story about you. If they do, motherfuckers not even going to believe that shit at this point. It's kind of like the motherfuckers saying a lie don't even believe this shit. Like, this motherfucker's just trying to emulate you, trying to be you, wanting to be you. Like, just liking the way you move. Like, motherfuckers just looking at you like, damn, that bitch is a witch. Like, she just making shit happen. She just bringing shit into fruition. It's like everything that you speak happens. So be mindful of your words. Says, words are powerful. Words are very fucking powerful. Words are spirits. Words are knowledge. Like, word, like whatever you put out into this universe, like, is what you're going to get back. So just be so mindful. Be very, very mindful. That's all I can say. Like, be mindful of what you speaking into this world be mindful of the affirmations be mindful of what you listening to too i also feel like somebody is be, is like seance and like spirits and they answer so they can ask questions last night i literally just sat there and i was just like can y'all please show y'all stuff to me and literally for like 30 minutes i just watched spirits like come in and out come in and out show themselves to me and it was just beautiful and i just was like i was 233, thank you, Master. I was honored. I was honored. 802 equal 10. Like, I know that that means that I had completed a cycle, that I had passed the test. So, I, I felt like I was getting congratulated. Like, I was getting, like, a pat on the back for doing something. And that's why they was allowing me to see them. So, I feel like a lot of y'all are seeking more spiritual knowledge like how to how to bring in that abundance how to do spell work um how to make shit how to do something with herbs some how to make some type of oil some type of i feel like something spiritual you're trying to upgrade on like this could be your gifts this could be your readings um that you could be like a traveling spiritual person or something like that uh, some some of you guys could be like mentors needing to find your own mentor i feel like i'm here and talk to the old people talk to the talk to the grandparents talk to your mamas talk to your daddies talk to the people in your life who have been through some shit okay like get knowledge from them understand that everybody is your teacher use everybody as a resource you know i feel like it's a sense of kind of like somebody maybe used to run with drug dealers maybe some woman is realizing that she's worth more than going to jail for a nigga that's that wouldn't do the same for her it feels like somebody is kind of just coming into themselves as an adult, whether it be a man or a woman. I also feel like somebody is reading and writing a lot more. Appreciating artwork, appreciating um, artistry. Like, um, Also, somebody could be having a hard time with like registration or paperwork or something like that. I feel like it's going to work out in your favor. It's just a matter of God is trying to teach you to be patient and have faith. I feel like when hard times arise or when irritations or annoyances happen, those are little tests for you to, to test your 
your balance to see if you are going to be balanced in your emotions to see how you process things to see your thought process to see you know how you have become equipped to handle yourself and others right so it's kind of just like teaching yourself kind of like how to use your emotions to your advantage how to use your emotions to usher in lessons if that makes sense to anybody right right okay so why is this this that's a lit this is lit. We got the sun card at the bottom of the deck. I feel like somebody is fine. I'm hearing, um, I gotta find my peace, mom. I feel like somebody is finally finding their happiness. Like the warrior, be fearless and stand strong. Give all your fears to God. If you worried about them bills, if you worried about them babies, if you worried about your job, your finances, I feel like, fuck that. God is telling you, don't be worried. Like, I got you. I'm also seeing somebody could be going fishing. This is like a steak, like a, um, I heard a steak knife, but it's one, like, like a, like, I, f I feel like I'm seeing somebody just in the wild, maybe going camping. This is like just being out in nature. I feel like tapping into that warrior side. Somebody could be Native American. Somebody is like getting the ancestry DNA test. I feel like mm, I would not, especially if you're black, I would not give my powerful ass DNA over to the government. I just would not um, because they're using it to make medicine. So I just, I wouldn't do that but i feel like if that's something that you have been questioning maybe this is your confirmation to maybe not do it you can learn about your ancestry through your akashic records like if you believe in yourself in the downloads that you get that's all the confirmation that you need right i feel like a lot of you are like searching for like proof and kind of like needed to know how to do certain things spiritually how to tap into meditation and how to tap into this and how to tap into that and it's kind of like you feel like maybe you're doing it wrong or maybe you feel like you need proof about how to do it you go into spiritual advisors who are like on the phone psychics or you know you go into people for information that you have within yourself it's kind of like if you, I'm hearing somebody is watching readings and they hearing the same thing over and over. I feel like it's because you're in alignment. It's like you're on the same path. Like God is like, it's kind of like when you in school and y'all keep going over the same lesson because maybe everybody didn't get it or maybe because it ties in with something else. I feel like this is just you needed to be patient, needed to learn how to process information. You know, maybe you are drawn to click on the same kind of readings. You know, maybe you are in a headspace where you're not understanding fully what the reader is saying maybe you're supposed to be watching different readers because maybe you're going to become a reader and you're learning how to interpret cards based on other people and what they say and then combining it in your own ways you know i feel like watching tarot is not all about the tarot reading sometimes it's just about the divination sometimes it's just about the community sometimes it's just about supporting your fellow tarot reader you know a lot of us are just making way for the next wave of people who are awakening because in a year or so when me and the people that y'all watch are done reading moving on to our other ventures there are going to be new upcoming readers who are watching us right now who are going to be ready to step up to the plate you know i feel like somebody is getting mad that their favorite tarot readers aren't doing readings anymore and stuff like that and it's a matter of just knowing that if you want to evolve you should be happy that your counterparts and that your sisters and brothers are evolving as well right um i also feel like somebody is just evol evolving away from a a, a, a lord as somebody that they felt like was their a counterpart a divine masculine who was in Herman mode who wouldn't take charge and you know just come forward i feel like you letting it go you know i feel like god is bringing you in a high priest god is bringing you in somebody that's worthy you know nipsey is a man who evolved over the years a man who had seen a lot but then when he was you know finally ready to ascend it was no turning back you know he wanted to help his community he wanted to and he died at 33 that's when Jesus died. That's a very powerful... 33 is my number. 33 is a very powerful ass number. There was certain shit that he couldn't do on this platform anymore. You know, he had mission work that he couldn't see out because of who society had already deemed him to be. That had already... His, his reputation had already become permanent. Because... In this earthly realm, people want to believe that things are permanent. You know, we don't want to accept the fact that nothing is permanent, right? Nothing. 
So it's kind of just like maybe somebody's like, who knew that the way that I felt about myself wouldn't be the way that I felt about myself always. Somebody is like, who knew that I was this strong ass, powerful ass individual? Who knew that I could usher in all of these blessings? Who knew that I could be this kind of mother or this kind of father, this kind of sister, this kind of brother? You know, I feel like this is you just overall appreciating yourself, your authenticity, the person that you are when you look at yourself in the mirror. I thought I saw the mirror garden, but it's kind of just like when you when you look at yourself and you in the darkness of yourself and nobody is around. Do you like who you are? Do you enjoy 222? Do you enjoy your own company? 240 equals six balance. Are you balanced within your emotions when it comes to how you feel about self? Fuck the outside shit about, you know, stimulants, how things are making you feel. How do you feel about self? You know, it's kind of like, do you love yourself enough to manifest this high priest? Are you talking to God enough? Are you even a high priestess yet? You know, I feel like I'm definitely talking to a lot of melanated men here. Like coming out of feeling like you can't do some shit coming out of feeling like you got to be this player ass nigga. You're not worthy of committing to one woman. It's crazy because today I was landing in bed and it was like the little sun rays that you see. They were shining into my room and that's kind of what this look like right now. And even in my kitchen, when I do my readings, you can see like the little beams of sunlight coming in. I feel like God is showing somebody that like the sun, the sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow. I feel like somebody watching Andy or this is just 2130. They just put Andy on what the fucking what's the name on star. So I'm gonna watch that tonight. But I'm hearing a Hustlers, like, I saw the movie Hustlers, I bought it, and I didn't even end up watching it, it just didn't really catch my attention like that, but I feel like this is somebody hustling, like, it's kind of like you hustling to just get people to see you differently, get women, the woman that you love to see you differently, help women see that you're not just a player, you're not just, just I feel like somebody is a fine ass nigga, it could be a Capricorn, but it's kind of just like people judge you based off your childhood, based off of what you've been through, you going to jail, or you being in the streets, or you just being very attractive, and a lot of women being attracted to you, somebody is realizing that like, they deserve a good woman, they deserve for people to not see them as who they used to be, you know, if you used to be in the streets, in a gang, or anything like that, I feel like it's kind of like you've evolved as a man, you've evolved as a person, and you are now spiritual, and it's kind of like, you are ready to open up a business, and a lot of people, 33 that gifts and the masters, are judging you based on your past, um, I'm hearing that there could be a strip stripper watching who is like going into a business investment or something, and there could be like, or there could be a porn star watching and there's like videos of you or something online. I watched Best Man Holiday last night. And um, yeah, like the girl Cookie or whatever, she had been exposed and yes. her porn or whatever was on. You know, it, it affected her getting, her husband getting an investment for the school that she's building. You know, somebody could be a teacher. Somebody could be wanting to, to build their own school. You know, this could be somebody, the medicine mother. You know, using certain information, certain healing information that you have received to heal yourself, to heal others, to be a mother to others, to help others, to teach others, um, intend and create. For some reason, I feel like somebody is becoming a mother or somebody's mother who has passed on has been around them, you know, helping them with their body. Like, I feel like giving you massages, spiritual massages, just releasing, um, releasing blockages about your body. Um, I feel like massages could be super important right now. If you are in a relationship, have your significant other give you massages. It's a way to just interact with each other and be intimate with each other and kind of like heal any negative vibes that have been going on in a relationship. It's a way to be intimate without always having to fuck each other. You know, I feel like maybe in a relationship, y'all just been killing each other vibe. It's kind of like y'all both moving in different places and y'all don't know how to move together. You know, it's the air garden. It's time to shift your perception. It's time to move how they move. You know, it's time to take on some of their perception and give them some of yours. It's time to do this shit together, you know. I feel like you're not alone anymore, you know, with the air guardian. I feel like you have your guides around you heavy. I feel like you hearing like little whistles in your ear or it's kind of like the wind. It's just like wind chimes. It's kind of like you just 
hearing shit, you know, like yo, 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 your clear audience is kind of like at an all time high with the Earth Guardian here. It's kind of like you are here as a guardian of the galaxy. You are protecting Earth. You are protecting light. My stomach is growling, and again, that's guiding me towards the ghetto nun. Like I don't know why I keep mentioning her. If any of you guys watch her, can y'all please link this video in one of her comments so she can watch it? Because I, she not a cancer, but for some reason I feel like this reading might resonate with her. But with the Earth Guardian, I feel like this is just grounding yourself, tapping into that heart chakra, allowing you to allowing you to open yourself back up to other people. I feel like God is allowing you to meet people. If you are an introvert, I feel like you just because you're an introvert and you like being alone, I feel like that has come from having to love yourself. You know, sometimes I want to be alone, bitch. Don't kill my vibe. I feel like you have adapted loving being alone because that's how you've been all your life. You know, not having friends, not have, having neglectful parents, or not being an orphan, or you know, just not. I feel like some of you guys were like um, siblings, and it's kind of like um, you and your siblings are very, very far apart. So it's kind of like you're the only child. You're used to being alone. You know, um, I'm just, I'm seeing so many YouTubers in my head. I don't know why, but I, I feel like it's kind of a sense of like being authentic, being your authentic self, loving on yourself and staying rooted and grounded in who you are and not changing yourself for people. No longer making yourself small for people, no longer changing your perception, how you feel, what you, this is also men in relationships with people in your family. It's crazy because me and my grandma, um, we don't really get along. Well, it's not that we don't get along. I just, I can't really stand criticism very well. I don't really like people telling me about myself. And my grandma is very into the Bible and 33 Thank You to the Master. She believes that when I use my cards, I'm conjuring up negative spirits. And that's why I'm scared of scary movies. And... She told me yesterday that I told her that she was lucky. And she was like, don't bring the devil into my house. That's that's bringing the devil into your space. Because, you know, that word is, is still a spirit. And I'm not lucky. I'm blessed. Yes. <laughs> I just had to channel Nicki Minaj real quick. But, um, clap for the heavyweight champ, me. Mm -mm -mm. But I couldn't do it all alone. We, this is tapping back into, like, your ancestors. Even if, like your grandparents are still alive i feel like they still your ancestors like they still been here way more than you way more many times than you possibly you know they still have been they still have years on you they still have stuff to teach you you know somebody is going to a grandpa a high priest you know i feel like this is like tapping into the shit that they know getting to know yourself more through remembering shit that maybe you can't remember you know talking to them about who you were as a child getting back to your child life self you know, being um, grounded in who God brought you here to be, right? I just smelled a weird ass smell. Somebody got like some old crab legs or old fish in their house that needs to be thrown out. And I don't eat that shit. Since I went um, vegan. I mean, not ve vegetarian, but I am going vegan though. But somebody, your shit stank. Like, it's, it's kind of like you smell worse. Like, your body odor is smelling worse because of the stuff that you're eating. Like, somebody not taking care of their body or they wasn't. I feel like somebody needs to stay grounded. Like, even when you do feel those bouts of depression, even when you do feel sad. Even when dealing with your family is hard, like, I feel like you still need to be the light, you know? Like, you still need to stay grounded and stay rooted in who you are and what you bring to the table. Because I feel like I'm talking to a lot of adults. I feel like you guys are adults now. People in your family still see you as this page, as this child, Aries Leo Sagittarius. And you're not a child no more. You're like, you have a voice. You can speak up. And I feel like it's time to pull up, drink. Like, be careful with drinking, too. Swimming pool. Somebody needs to go to the Y. Somebody's getting a gym membership, going to swimming a lot this summer or this spring. I feel like somebody faded. Like, somebody just enjoying themselves, having a good time, going out, kicking it, meeting new friends, meeting new people. 
somebody is enjoying soul school it's kind of like it's your first year of college and you just like enjoying meeting your soul family enjoying connecting with people you want to be a few you meeting a lot of black spiritual people you're just like i never you know like i never been had friends i never had a group and you're just like look with another triangle here you are aware your third eye is all the way open like don't leave the house without your hair protected do not leave the house without your hair covered i don't care if it's summer i don't care if it's hot cover your hair that it say that in the bible in the quran i'm pretty sure it say that in a lot of other religions like and that's one of those things that's staple in every book so i feel like it's one of those things that's important because it is important to protect your crown we are all royalty right so I feel like it's a room full of liquor, like it's a room full of spirits around you. It's a room full of people who love you, who are supporting you, who are guiding you on your journey. You have nothing to be fearful of. You have nothing to be worried about. I feel like God just wants you to stay okay, like in who you are. You know, like I don't care what you lack in right now. God is going to usher you in whatever you need. So it's kind of like be secure in just what you have, how you look, you know, don't go changing your body. I'm here in plastic surgery. I feel like it's a sense of kind of like I create harmony. Number six, 333, three, three, thank you, Ascending Masters. As I saw this in my phone, like flash the light. It's it's just kind of like this is you just speaking your truth, speaking who you speaking about who you are. Um, I'm hearing that somebody is is starting a occult. It's kind of like you just have a spiritual community who believes in you, who follows you, you know, who supports you, who believes in what you believe in. Um, and I feel like it has a bad stigma, but I feel like you do good. You're here for God. You're doing God's work. You know, I feel like somebody is doing seminars. Somebody is getting invited to do a TED Talk or applying to do a TED Talk. I feel like this is you crying out your emotions, like speaking about what you have been through, like a book of knowledge, writing a book. I feel like somebody is like writing a tell-all book and it's just kind of like you going through emotions of like family and friends not really fucking with you and just being alone. And I feel like this is reminding you of your childhood. This is reminding you of how you felt as a kid. And it's it's allowing you to purge a lot of old emotions and a lot of old feelings. It's allowing you to usher in newness. And it just, it, it feels beautiful. It feels good. It feels happy. It feels loving. It feels like somebody is just tapping into knowledge about themselves and they just crying somebody is finding an old diary or a journal somebody is going to their grandma house or to their mom house to their old childhood home somebody has passed away and they're like going through their belongings and i feel like somebody is just finding stuff that's making them cry and bawl because they are just like in awe with everything that they're finding it's kind of like it's happy tears but at the same time it's just kind of like purging because you also purging those feelings like when you look at certain pictures you, you feel that energy of what you felt in that picture you know and i feel like you purging that you allowing yourself to feel all those emotions to deal with all those that shit i feel like somebody is also going through like the iCloud or the camera roll and they just like man i did live a good life but at the same time i look so happy in that picture but i can tell that i wasn't you know it's kind of like looking at looking back at pictures and being like damn i know what i was going through that but you couldn't tell but it's like you can tell looking back now like you can see it in your eyes that you wasn't okay i feel like somebody is purging all that shit out i'm hearing charlie rose somebody could be pregnant i could assume only my fair share this is this is like not stealing not being untrustworthy you know not stealing anybody's energy not no longer being an energy vampire to other people you know, not no longer choking other people of um, depriving other people of what it is that they deserve. You know, this is no longer putting the blame on others. This is you taking responsibility for yourself. Thirty three, thank you, ascended masters. Taking responsibilities for the things that have happened in your life, for the things that have transpired. I feel like it's just kind of like you're not blaming your parents no more. You know, you've graduated spiritually. You already know that you chose your parents. You know, 33, thank you, Ascended Masters. You are appreciative of the fact that your child has chosen you. I feel like you just ready for love. Like, I feel like some of y'all are ushering in real love, right? It's kind of like you just been dusting off these niggas. You've been dating. You've been, you've been doing it for fun. You've just been enjoying yourself. And then your spirit guides are personally ushering somebody into you to love on you, to protect you, you know, to be your medicine. You could be meeting them this summer. A summer fling. It's kind of like this summer fling could be turning into something real. But I also feel like don't cry over spilled milk when people don't end up to 
to be a divine masculine i feel like all these people are teaching you about yourself all of these people are lessons for you all of these people are a part of your soul tribe and a part of your soul family and as you graduate and you up the ante with your spirituality you start to have more compassion more love more of god in you so you can appreciate people you know better than to judge people and to you know have any harsh feelings or ill feelings towards them and then I just got a my comment got a like from Brie Brie TV 37 minutes ago and when and it's 255 and when I said I was thinking of a lot of YouTuber a lot of YouTubers she's the one that I was thinking about because she's recently just did a video about um just loving yourself like and being satisfied with who you are and respecting yourself you know and i feel like it's about love it's about loving yourself to usher in real love true love authentic love from your friends from your family from your soul tribe from your employers from your employees you know just from the people that you immerse yourself around the energy that you're around you know this is being pure you know consuming your fair share you know it's kind of like this in a in a business partnership or in a relationship i feel like there is give and take god is ushering in you know somebody who won't take all your money who won't just not clean the house who won't not cater to your emotions who won't let you finish in bed you know i feel like god is bringing you somebody who is going to be business savvy who you can go into business with who's going to love you who's going to love your children who is going to support you who is a high priest like i feel like the air around you is just there's a voice and it calls me and then i know which way to go there's a voice and I don't know why, but I, I kind of want to play that song. I don't know what the song is called. I don't even think I'm going to play that one. I'm going to just play whichever. I'm going to go to Frozen 2 and I'm going to play a track because... I, ho I hope I find that song, though. Now, I might get flagged and shit because this is a movie, but let's see what message... I'm gonna get from this. What is that? There's a voice. Oh, that's Moana. That's Moana. But yeah, y'all, let's see. Let's get into some more stuff. I usually don't do no long ass readings like these, but hello, I'm a cancer. It's my sign, you know. Answer prayers. I feel like you got a thousand reasons to feel like what you're hearing is not what you're hearing and what you're seeing is not what you're seeing. But since I feel like God, spirit, like your ancestors, they around you. They around, ah, it's kind of like you hearing that shit, like you hearing like a high pitch ringing in your ear. I feel like somebody's spirituality is, is coming fast. Like somebody was not prepared. It's kind of just like somebody is just, somebody is nervous. Everyone I've ever loved is here with me in these walls. It's kind of like you denying the fact that you're hearing your spirits. It's kind of like stop doing that. When you say protect your house, you got your spirits real life protecting your house. You have spiritual bodyguards outside your house making sure ain't nothing, ain't nothing going on that you ain't going to know about. You know, I feel like there's nothing that's unknown to you. I heard unbeknownst to you. Like, like you know everything. You are the all-knowing. You are the all-seeing. I feel like you are so powerful. You are needing to tap into that shit. Do you know these motherfuckers are like teenagers? They going into the motherfucking unknown, solving motherfucking mysteries for their motherfucking um, village, town, city, whatever the fuck they kingdom. It's kind of like motherfuckers, like we hold a lot of weight. We hold a lot of responsibility. And it's time to step into that. You know, I feel like it's, it's, it's some, what's it called? Divinity that you have to spread to this world. Like there is some spiritual community that you have to be leading right now 32 thank you thank you to the masters whether that be on youtube whether that be um at your job just telling everybody like yeah y'all let's do a good job let's work hard you know like whether this be your team whether this be i'm hearing somebody could be a resident and you just getting all the interns to kind of like do a good job and like rally up and have fun with it i feel like this is somebody teaching people to not hate your job to not hate your everyday life to not hate what you have to appreciate the unknown to appreciate what you don't see coming because it's so much coming for you sis right i feel like this is just ushering in that love and that abundance and that care for yourself this is god blessing you do you know me can you feel me it's kind of like 
God is showing you new ancestors. Like, do you know who I am? Can you can you tap into this memory? Can you bring it up? Can you force yourself to remember? Not even force yourself, but can you love yourself enough to remember? Can you tap into that knowledge? Why does this memory exist? Why? What What is this ushering in for you? What kind of lesson is this bringing in to you? Now, this is going to be a spiritual ass message, so I feel like this is not going to resonate with every cancer watching 39, 39, thank you, ascending masters. But if it does, you a powerful ass bitch or a nigga. You a powerful ass person and you going into the unknown. Like, there's so much that God has just, like, in store for you. And it's just kind of like, bitch, hold on. Because I saw the song and I hope I can find it. 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 God, please let me find it. I didn't find it. I didn't find it. But I feel like somebody just blessed this foot. What I believe you should say is thank you. I feel like this is your divine intervention. You should be saying thank you to God. Listen, this song came on and y'all saw this car pop right the fuck out, right? Listen to this. Face to face with and it's like you face to face with yourself in the mirror. And you you don't know how powerful you are. You sitting here worried about how the fuck you live. Your eyes being cross-eyed. You're having motherfucking pimples and shit, bitch. It's like, let's begin. Let's hop on some real shit. Let's get off this earthly ass shit and tap into how to bring this shit into fruition. How to build spiritual ass hospitals and spiritual ass schools to where we are building legacies for ourselves. We are say, like, literally, this is God telling us, like, we need to be saying, like, thank you. You know, God is telling us, like, you're welcome, bitch. Here you go. Here's a blessing. Here, Here's a blessing. Here's a blessing. Here's a blessing. I feel like God is telling you, like, here you go. You are worthy of this. You deserve this. Like, God is showing you your Akashic Records for a reason. Your dream's going crazy. I had a dream today. Like, I woke up from that dream today from a nap that I, my real dad, and I don't know if my dad, not my dad. I don't think, I, I think my dad, my dad. But I had a vision that, or I had a dream that my dad, that my dad, 8.30, 11, that my, that my dad, my real dad, had came to me and I just broke down crying like I just want you to know why I am the way I am is because I have multiple personalities and he was like Caprice I know like I accept you I love you I've been watching your YouTube videos and I'm just like what the fuck like hello am I finding out that my dad and my dad and I'm not saying that like that's something that I would want but I'm just showing you like that could have happened to me in a past life you know and that could maybe explain why my relationship with my dad is what it is. You know, that is something like I used to low-key think when I was a child. And it's just kind of like everything coming back up is coming back up for a reason. So if you've been getting angry or getting upset or going back to old behaviors, ways of dating, ways of being, ways of being a friend or just the way you talk, you know, getting just back into smoking again or drinking or just old habits, be mindful that it's not a regression. It's a progression. Like, it's God showing you that, you know, you have changed. Because when you go back to self, you be like, I'm not even like this no more. Like, why am I acting like this? And then that that's a feeling of, that should be a feeling of greatness. You know, that's when you should be thanking God. You should be like, damn, I'm happy I'm not here anymore. And now I have to work hard to n never go back there. Right? I feel like somebody is just appreciating God. Just appreciating God. Give it to God. Give all your worries to God. Give all your stress to God. I feel like somebody is just realizing that happiness is in the air. And you deserve it. You know, I feel like somebody is getting a lot of shiny new shit. Like, somebody is getting a new rollie. New rollie. Somebody is buying my jewelry. Only for you. Truly yours jewelry. Out now. Shop. Go to my Instagram at Caprice Sun to Row. Um, but yeah, y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, I want this to be a community, so definitely leave your businesses or your websites or your Instagrams down below, and I will pin one. Um, every time I get a new comment, I might replace the pin so that somebody new could get an opportunity. 303, thank you, for the Masters. Um, I just want us to be a community. I want us to work together and help each other heal. I want us to talk to each other in the comments. Y'all asses, don't be talking. But like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, Cancers. I am taking personal readings still. You guys can cash at me at money sign Caprice Cooks or you can email me or apple pay me at caprice cooks at icloud.com. Alright, y'all, I am out of here. <laughs>